Okay. All right. Well, welcome. I'm Dr. Poplowski, and I'm a bariatric surgeon. And it's a general surgeon who does bariatric surgery, and I've been doing this for about 13 years here at uh, Barracks Clinics. And uh, bariatric surgery is surgery that helps people lose weight. Barris is a Greek root, means weight. Barometric pressure, weight of the air, barristers, lawyers with the scales, you know. Uh, we treat a disease here called morbid obesity, which sounds kind of bad, uh, but it's really just two medical words. Uh, obese is a condition of too much body fat, and morbid means uh, now in a diseased state. Okay, so a condition of too much body fat that's starting to cause other diseases like diabetes and hypertension and sleep apnea and destroyed joints and reflux and asthma and polycystic ovaries and all of these other illnesses that are the direct result of too much body fat. And that's what we're trying to help you control. Um, uh, the first line of treatment for morbid obesity is to eat less and exercise more. Most people have already tried that by now, yeah. Um, the National Institutes of Health say that people who are more than 100 pounds overweight are candidates for bariatric surgery, surgery to help them control this life-threatening illness. So 240 pounds for a woman, 270 pounds for a guy or more. Uh, there's this body mass index thing, which is sort of a height to weight ratio, which takes care of the really tall or really short people who are right on the borderline, but about 100 pounds overweight or more. Uh, so uh, the, I mean, the ideal way to treat this is to eat less and exercise more. And when that doesn't work, then uh, the next thing to do is to work with your doctor, you know, and see is there some medical reason why this is not working? Is my thyroid okay? Um, is there anything else going on? Do you have anything in your bag of tricks that can help me control this life-threatening illness without an operation? Because nobody really wants an operation unless there is no choice, you know, so uh, uh, diet pills, uh, exercise counseling, nutritional therapy, all of those things should be tried first should be given a reasonable try until it seems unreasonable to keep trying. And that's when it's time to talk to us, okay? So we're not the first line and we're not the second line. We're kind of the last line of treatment for this. And what that means is that what we get to take care of are the failures of the medical management of obesity. Another hard word. Um, and for me, the really interesting question is, is not, does this patient qualify for bariatric surgery? That's not hard. You get off the chart, you look up their height and their weight. And either you're above the line or you're below the line. But the really interesting question for me is, is why? How did this happen? Uh, why did I do this to myself? Why did I make myself so heavy I needed those guys? How come nothing works for me? And the answer to that question is probably the key to lifetime success with bariatric surgery. How did this happen? Why did this happen? Everybody in this room has a normal sized stomach. I want to make it smaller. That's kind of like taking that 70 pound anorexic and trying to devise an operation to make her stomach bigger. That's not the problem, right? Okay, so how did this happen? Why did this happen? Why did I do this to myself? And that kind of work, you know, to get to the bottom of that, to really begin to understand that better, to be able to make the behavioral changes that you're still going to have to make. Sometimes that takes a little bit of work, you know, a little bit of work with a therapist and a counselor, therapist or a counselor, psychologist, psychiatrist, you know, to sit down and talk about it. You know, why did this happen to me? Why did I get to the point where I put my life in danger? How come I couldn't control this without that operation? What have I got to work on? Who can help me with that? Okay, that will be as important as what I do in the operating room. Okay, so my job is to get you ready and to do a technically good operation and to get you home safely. And your job is to get to the bottom of what caused this and start to work on those things, okay? You still have to change. Okay, an absolute disaster, an absolute recipe for disaster is to throw your head back and close your eyes and say, wake me up when I'm thin, okay? You know, you gotta get engaged in this. You gotta learn about this, you know? And I think make it your hobby to get more sophisticated at understanding why does this happen to some people? You know, why did this happen to me? Why have I struggled so long with this? What do I gotta work on, okay? So that's your job. Um, we do three operations here. We do 
gastric bypass surgery, we do uh, an adjustable gastric band, and we do a gastric sleeve.